New tonight, 11 Alive has learned Georgia's Department of Juvenile Justice has released nearly 100 young people from youth prisons in response to the pandemic. While no detained youth have contracted the virus, at least 15 DJJ employees have tested positive since March. And right now, 11 are under quarantine due to possible exposure. Reveal investigator Andy Parati has reaction from a parent and a judge. Through anything like this ever before. Arlena McDo believes her son was at the wrong place at the wrong time when police arrested him for a nonviolent offense this past March. Still, a juvenile court ordered the 14 year old to serve time at this detention center in Hampton, Georgia. Already nervous for his safety, her anxiety grew when the coronavirus spread. It, it was really scary, and I tell you, I cried every night. A few days later, Clayton County Court Judge Stephen Teske reviewed her son's case and released him after determining he wasn't a threat to his community. Last month, the judge issued an order limiting the number of youth detentions to only violent offenders in his jurisdiction. I look at it this way. It's called the my child test. All right. If this were your child, how would you feel? Mm -hmm. And as a judge, that's how I see every one of these kids. Over the past few weeks, DJJ and juvenile court judges have released 99 minors early from Georgia's youth prisons in response to the pandemic. Those released are under increased supervision, wearing ankle monitors or moved to treatment centers. So it's not just simply the virus itself. It's the fact that we're keeping teenagers, children, locked up in a, in a jail cell for an extended period of time which, you know, that's going to that's going to aggravate their psyche. McDo says releasing her son and others was the right thing to do. Uh, the gratitude's just the words can't describe how I felt in that moment. At one point, more than 70 DJJ employees were at home under quarantine after they said they were possibly exposed to the virus. About half of them have returned to work. The agency hasn't tested any children, they said they will if they exhibit symptoms.